Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a really, really long time now, actually. Ever since I started watching these and became obsessed with this, like, how much people spend in a week. I really got obsessed while I was abroad in Sydney last semester just because it was interesting to see what people my age and people who weren't my age were um, spending in terms of their budgets. Um, and it's always been something I've been really oddly interested into, especially since I've been working since I was like 14 and learning and growing up to adopt more financial responsibilities. And I did want to make one of these videos because I think they're really interesting. And finance for young people, especially like Gen Z and millennials, I think is something that isn't really talked about enough and we should communicate with each other more just because it's always kind of been this like sort of taboo conversation that I've never really understood why. You learn from other people and their mistakes and their um, benefits and what works with them, so I think it's really important. If you've never watched one of my videos, it's nice to meet you. My name is Jake, Jacob, whatever you want to call me. I'm a junior at Boston University. I live just outside downtown Boston um, on Boston University's campus. Right now is a really interesting time in my sort of college career because I'm moving towards greater financial flexibility than I've had before. And as I start to invest more in my work and the production and music and tour um, it's become a huge task to sort of manage my finances because I do have multiple streams of income, whether that be music or um, my other jobs on campus, um, brand deals, etc. So a lot varies, but there is some sort of costs that are fixed across the months. This is a project that I've been kind of nervous to complete, um, just because I didn't really want to know what the results were for how much I really do spend in a week. But it was something that I really wanted to do to share with you so we can continue that conversation. Maybe you can learn from some of the things that I do. Um, Maybe you won't, or maybe you'll learn what not to do. So I'm gonna break down my week. I'm gonna start with actually a Saturday. So this was maybe two weeks ago. Um, we're just ending spring break right now. This was the week before spring break. And I wanna preface it and say that this was a really odd and interesting kind of week because I did do a little bit of traveling and traveling, as anyone knows, is insanely expensive and really kind of skewed a lot of my math and estimates and so I do have some receipts here I did the math um, and let's just like, jump right in I guess so we'll start with Saturday Saturdays and the weekends are actually really great days for me because they're usually relaxed chill it's just about hanging out with friends so really my only expenses come from meals like if or if I go out one of my New Year's resolutions was to actually stop buying like lattes and coffees out at cafes. Um, it hasn't really worked. I really like to get out of the house. <laughs> and so sometimes just going to buy a latte or something isn't a reason to go work at a cafe or something like that on campus. Right now, a thing of like oat milk lasts me about a week and I can buy a pound of ground espresso coffee um, at Starbucks for about $15. And so I did the math here. So ultimately I spend about mm, like 75 cents per latte that I can make here on my own, which is extremely cheaper than one I would buy out. It's not as good, of course, but um, it does the job. And I have about two a day, so that's about $1.50 a day. So I spend about $10.50 on coffee every week, which isn't bad. I don't, I mean, I wouldn't think. That night I went to dinner with one of my friends and we went to um, Time Out Boston, which is a brand new sort of marketplace. The food does happen to be a little bit more expensive than I would like, um, but you really kind of pay for the atmosphere and stuff too. So that meal was about $15. Saturday, I spent about just over $15, really. I ended up walking there. Transportation is a huge thing too. I really walk everywhere, which is one of the huge pluses about a college campus. Sunday is when I did groceries. Now, this is a huge, huge expense. Probably my biggest, I mean, definitely my biggest expense because my housing is paid through BU's tuition, which I didn't incorporate in this because honestly, technically, I don't pay for it personally out of my own pocket. Um, it's, I have an arrangement with my parents, and so um, I didn't incorporate it in this, so do kind of take into consideration that this is the work of a college student who isn't necessarily paying for a lot of things, because a lot of resources um, are included with tuition, which is paid for all up front, and I didn't really want to do the math of what that looks like, because BU's tuition is uh, pretty high. 
groceries, I spent about just under $170 at Trader Joe's. Now before you freak out, I only do groceries about two times a month. So whenever I go, I tend to buy for the next two weeks or so. Partially because I really don't like doing groceries, even though I love Trader Joe's and I like shopping for food. It's not my favorite and it's a lot to carry. And I'm only buying for myself at this point. So um, it's manageable to do two weeks at once. So truthfully, I spend about $85 a week on groceries by myself. This number varies a lot, just depending on how, if I'm traveling that week or if I'm planning dinners, if I'm hosting friends, entertaining, you know, those sort of things are really important to take into consideration, depending on how much I have left over from previous weeks. But I would say roughly I spend about $85 a week to feed myself, which I know is kind of on the upper end, um, but food is something that I really take um, into important consideration. I am on a plant-based diet. I've been doing that for four years. It is a little bit more expensive than a traditional diet, um, but it's something I really enjoy and do for myself and don't mind spending a little bit more on too. Monday, I have class all day. I still find a way to spend money. <laughs> okay, Target. Um, I bought kind of like the essentials, like toothpaste, deodorant, face wash, you know, all those sort of things. Um, so that was about $30 total, but that lasts me about a month. So it's really about $7.50 a week. Then on Monday, the charge for my website came through. I use Wix to do um, all my websites and such, which is $17 a month. Really, it's only about $4.25 a week, which is a pretty good deal, I think. I don't, something I don't mind paying for because I'm happy with the service and stuff, so Wix, sponsor me. Tuesday was actually crazy because I was doing a live show. I didn't really have a lot of time to do much. I went and I bought dinner and a coffee at Pavement, which was about $8. Pavement is my favorite coffee place on campus. Anyone at BU knows Pavement, it's incredible. I also got charged for my monthly subscription with Splice, which is the music production um, thing I use, which was about $8 a month. So it's really only about $2 a week, which is an incredible deal. Wednesday rolled around. Wednesdays I also have a lot of class. I was running late to something though, and I did order a Lyft. I feel really bad, but I did have coupons with Lyft, which is why I used it. Um, that was about $8. I typically really don't like ordering Ubers and Lyfts. Um, if you look at my history, you really won't see a lot because they're really, really expensive. And a lot of the times when I wanna go places, it's at a peak time and I live in a city, so it's especially more expensive. Every Wednesday, I meet with my manager slash friend, Madison, and we talk about the things that need to be done and we're planning tour and all those sort of things. And so we ended up going to dinner that night and that was about $11 to eat at Life Live. Thursday rolls around. I did have to go to Target again. I forgot what it was for. This is like a little bit embarrassing. Thursday, I bought candles and um, I did have to buy some office supplies and stuff because I was studying for an exam. I still like to use flashcards, a little bit traditional. I also use the um, little mist things to make the apartment smell really good. I had people coming over and so I wanted to make sure that the place was all nice. So kind of like cleaning supplies um, and stuff and I ended up spending about $20. Oh, and I also went to Star Market here and I bought, I think, something they didn't have at Target. So um, that was about $16, so that was about $24. Um, in total. Now we're on the last day. Here is Friday. Friday, I ended up traveling to New York. So it was about a $20 bus ticket. Honestly, if you're ever going to New York from Boston or really East Coast, take the bus. It's so ridiculously cheap compared to every other option. It might suck at first, but you get used to it really, really fast. Download a Netflix show, you binge it, you close your eyes for a bit, listen to a podcast, and you're there. And then food, I ended up spending about $30 just because I had to eat out. New York's expensive, there's drinks, there's everything as of quick. So just in one day, it was about $30. Um, not proud of that. And then I also got um, charged for my Gmail, or is it Gmail? No. It's like the Google, um, Google Suite, and so I have my own domain of my website, so that's about $12 a month, which is about $3 a week. So in total, Friday was about $53, which isn't the best, but it was travel, which doesn't happen every week, and it was having fun because it was spring break, so a little bit of disposable income is all right. So that was my week. There's a lot that varies amongst the weeks in terms of what I spend and travel and what groceries are left over. So, um, all in all, um, I spent about $228.25 during the week. Which isn't 
bad, but it's not great. I do have a few other things that I pay for every once in a while, such as like haircuts, and I didn't want to include like my credit card payments, those sort of things. It's kind of like a little bit out of whack or what I invest or what I put into my 401k, those sort of things um, I kind of took out for now. So again, there's a lot of a lot of things that vary. I would say roughly I spend probably about $200 a week, which isn't ultimately that bad because I do have multiple streams of income. I do have things left over put into my savings. So I'm happy. I pay off my credit card. I do all those things working on improving my credit score because I am graduating here in December and a lot more expenses and responsibilities are going to present themselves. So just trying to be really, really prepared for that, I guess. All right, with that, I guess this about wraps up the end of the video. I also did a blog post on why I think we need to be talking about finances a little bit more and sharing sort of my insight into what I've learned over the past couple years of college and what I've learned from friends and such. So make sure you check out my brand new blog post. It's going to be in the description. I'll see you guys next time. I really don't feel like money is something we get taught very well in terms of our prior education, even in college. It's something you really have to learn with experience and firsthand, um, which really shouldn't be the way, but it's kind of the way it is. It's important we learn from each other, so if you have any tips, um, let me know. I know there's a bunch of apps and stuff too. I haven't really gotten into those, but maybe that works for you too. So explore, see what works. Make sure you subscribe, like the video. You know all that stuff. And I'll see you soon. All right, bye.